Please pause for a moment of silence. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. A list of Texan scholars has been posted in the windows outside of the counseling office. If you think you are a Texan scholar, please verify your name is on the list. If not, please see your counselor today. Seniors, if you would like your scholarships to be announced at the Legacy Awards, they must be submitted to the counseling office by the end of today. Yearbooks will be distributed today after school in the Student Union. If you are unable to pick it up today, you can wait until tomorrow. Also remember to bring your book to school on Wednesday next week for the signing party during advisory. You must bring your book to get, it, to get in, so don't miss out. If you're interested in the many opportunities that the Steel Accelerated High School has to offer, you can visit the school representatives in the cafeteria during lunch today. And now here's a special live weekly update. Welcome to the first ever live edition of the Weekly Update. I am still your host, Devin Fortenberry, but there are only two more shows after this one, and then I'm gone. Some of you may be saddened by that, but let's be honest, most of you are rejoicing. But regardless, it's time for some news. McDonald's is testing out a new kind of French fry, fries that are seasoned. Now this is ridiculous. If there is anything that I've gained more weight from eating, it's McDonald's French fries. So for everyone's sake, let's hope they don't change a thing. Many years ago, back in 1982, there was a myth that Atari buried millions of copies of the game E.T. Extraterrestrial in New Mexico because the game was so bad. It is even considered to be the worst game ever made. Well, turns out that the 30-year-old myth is true. Many copies of the game were found in a, a New Mexico landfill. This goes to show that you can't hide your problems, not even by burying them. This next segment, takes place in a galaxy far, far away. Jared, you were so cute. <laughs> no, seriously, man. Darth Maul obviously has the best lightsaber of all time. Now, Devin, I have to disagree. Why? Because Qui-Gon Jinn is pretty awesome, and he's yeah. played by Liam Neeson, so... And Qui-Gon Jinn is dead. But Darth Maul died too. Did you watch The Clone Wars? He... Obviously not, <laughs> no, Jared <I> DeVries. <laughs> Qui-Gon Jinn or Darth Maul? Economics test, and I have to study, and and you play too rough, and I gotta go home. You were my brother. You take this too seriously, man. 
I'm just gonna go home. Have a great day, Texans. Good luck on your AP tests, and may the force be with you. Thanks, Devin. Yesterday, NHS TV ran a segment on candidates running for class officers. The following candidates were not mentioned. Hannah Klein is running for junior treasurer, and Aaron Edwards is running for senior class parliamentarian. Please consider them when casting your vote, and remember, t voting ends this Friday. Lastly, don't forget to flap your feathers, Texans, because today is National Dance Like a Chicken Day.